Tempest Storm was an American burlesque star and motion picture actress. She was one of the best known performers of the 1950s, 60s and 70s and was known as the queen of exotic dancers. She was the last of the great legends in the golden age of burlesque. Her career as an exotic dancer spanned more than 60 years and she was performing as late as the early 21st century. This is her story. Tempest Storm was born Anne Blanche Banks on February 29, 1928 in Eastman, Georgia. Her childhood was difficult. Her parents separated before she was born and she never knew her biological father. The man she assumed as her father was actually her stepfather, a fact that was revealed to her at a young age. Her stepfather was not only mean to her and treated her poorly, he also sexually abused her when she was in the 7th grade. She dropped out of school around the same time. Bitten by the Hollywood bug early in her life, she considered the world of entertainment a great escape from all the miseries that she had been subjected to in the past. During her early teenage years, she decided that she would run away to Hollywood someday and work in films. The Georgia law back then stated that once a person was married, the person's parents would lose complete hold over him or her. So at the age of 14, she decided to get independent and got married to a US Marine to emancipate herself from her parents and had the marriage annulled just after 24 hours. She started dating a brother of one of her female co-workers and got married to him when she was just 15, but she still wanted to go to Hollywood and then decided to leave him. The marriage ended in just 6 months. She moved to Hollywood to put her plans in action. She worked at some odd jobs to support herself but her career began at the tender age of 17 when a customer at the cocktail bar where she worked suggested she become a stripper. The same customer introduced her to Lillian Hunt who was the talent manager at the Follis Theatre in Los Angeles and Tempest was called for an interview. She missed her first interview because she was conflicted about becoming a stripper. However, she was hired as a chorus dancer for $40 a week. The pay was unexpectedly good. A few weeks later, as she started to become more popular, she was offered a $20 raise per week to perform as a stripper, which she accepted. Within a short time, she understood the rules of the profession and became a thorough professional. Lillian Hunt, who managed what was sometimes referred to as the School of Strippers, suggested Anne Banks to adopt a more alluring stage name, and the name Tempest Storm was born. She legally changed her name in 1957. During the 1950s, she got married for a third time to John Becker, a theater owner, but that marriage also ended after two years. She became popular as she performed at burlesque clubs across the US. At one point, she became the highest paid stripper across the country. She even performed regularly outside the country in the burlesque clubs of UK and Canada. She also got her breasts insured by a UK firm for a million dollars. She later featured in a number of men's magazines and burlesque movies. In 1957, she began a romance with Elvis Presley who once climbed an 8-foot wall just to reach her hotel suite. Years later, she met a young John F. Kennedy, long before he was elected as the president. When asked about what she and Kennedy talked about in the rendezvous, she said that it sure wasn't politics. She also became a friend of Marilyn Monroe. In 1959, she married her fourth husband, Herb Jeffries, a singer and an actor. He was of a mixed race himself but identified as African American. It was a different time and their interracial marriage was considered shocking to many and led to the cancellation of many of her engagements. Some of her friends and business associates including Lillian Hun deserted her. But Tempest was strong about her convictions. She had a daughter with Herb, however, they divorced in 1967. She received a place in the Burlesque Hall of Fame in the late 1980s. Tempest Storm officially retired from Burlesque in 1995 at the age of 67. However, even after that, she performed on special occasions. Because she was born on a leap day, she liked to joke that she didn't have her 21st birthday until 2012. Tempest was struggling after undergoing hip surgery on April 8, 2021 and was under round-the-clock care until her death. She died on April 20, 2021 at the age of 93.
Throughout her career, she emphasized that she liked to leave some things to the audience's imagination in her performances. Even so, she was arrested multiple times for violating laws against nudity and topless dancing. Thank you for watching. If you found the video interesting, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to Seanvolution for more such content.